If you are studying relationship between two variables or comparing two groups, then you postulate and test a hypothesis. A research hypothesis or alternate hypothesis says there is a relationship between two variables, whereas null hypothesis says there is no relationship. So after applying the statistical test, we get that p-value. The null hypothesis may be actually true or false. In your study, you may accept that null hypothesis or reject that null hypothesis, which will derive four situations. When the null hypothesis is false, and you reject it correctly, then it is called as true negative. When the null hypothesis is true and you accept it, that is called as true positive. When the null hypothesis is true and you reject it, that is called as false positive. When the null hypothesis is false and you accept it, that is called as false negative. So this false positive is called as alpha error or type 1 error. False negative is called as beta error or type 2 error. So alpha error is rejecting null hypothesis when it is actually true. Beta error is accepting null hypothesis when it is actually false. The inverse of this beta error is called as power of the study. The probability of committing alpha error is called as p-value. As the probability of committing an alpha error is close to zero or the p-value is close to zero, the chance of you rejecting the null hypothesis when it is actually true is going to be nil. When p-value is less than 0 0.05, you call it as statistically significant. When the p-value is less than 0 0.01, then you call it as highly significant. To sum up, p-value is a measure of relationship or measure of association between two variables or groups. p-value is the probability of committing alpha error. p-value is the strength of evidence provided by our sample against null hypothesis. In order to accept our alternate hypothesis.